Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Aymin Timhoma. I'm going to present my final year project, FFC 71, entitled Acid Photo Aging Effect of ENR and PVC as a polymer binder in a mobilized TIO2 for the photo catalysis enhancement supervised by Dr. Wan Izhan Nawawi bin Wan Ismail. So first, I'm going to start with photocatalyst. So what is photocatalyst? Photocatalyst is a material that has been used to accelerate chemical reaction. So one of the photocatalysts is the IO2 titanium dioxide that have the advantages in degrading organic compound and low cost. However, titanium dioxide have a drawback in terms of the high bank cap energy and the slow in suspension mode. So this problem need to overcome by apply the immobilized technique to TiO2. However, this technique is still slow for photocatalytic activity. So ENR epoxidized natural rubber and PVC polyvinyl chloride are used as a binder to increase the photocatalytic performance and the surface area of the IO2. Other than that, with a small presence of UV light from solar can enhance the photocatalytic because of white bank gap energy. So light harvesting are in need to reduce bank gap energy and enhance the photocatalytic performance. According to Zafia 2017, the photo etching process are used to increase the pore and produce more particles of PiO2 so that the light can be penetrated into it. Another strategy that can be used is acid etching where it can increase the surface roughness of the IO2. So this is a significant of this study where photo etching and acid etching are combined together to get better photocatalytic activity. The modification of the IO2 using binders and this process can be seen by degrading reactive red pore dye. So this is the objective of study. First, to obtain the acid photo etching effect process of ENR and PVC as polymer binders in immobilized liquid TiO2. Second is to determine the photocatalysis enhancement after the acid photo etching process by comparing with immobilized TiO2 without acid photo etching process. And the last one is to characterize the optimum preparation of immobilized TiO2 by using advanced instrument analyzer. So next is methodology. First, we need to prepare ENR solution by refluxing 24.8 gram of ENR with toluene at 88 degrees Celsius. Next is preparation of PVC solution by dissolve 4 gram of PVC powder into 175 ml of dichloromethane. For preparation of the IO2 ENR PVC formulation, uh, use, I use 20 gram of ENR and 4 gram of PVC and after that slowly added 30 gram of the IO2 powder. So next preparation is immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC via deep coating technique in the glass cell. Next, acid photo etching in immobilized IO2 ENR PVC by using one normality of hydrochloric acid and immerse the immobilized IO2 ENR PVC plate into 20 ml of HCl and irradiated under UVA lamp and aerated condition. And the last one is photo degradation of RR4 dye by using immobilized IO2 ENR PVC under 50, 50, 55 watt fluorescent light and aerated condition. Next part is result and discussion. After the observation has been made, the absorbent has been recorded during photocatalytic degradation of RR4. And from that, the pseudo first order rate constant was obtained and the optimum is 0 0.0553, which immobilized the IO2 and RPVC under 40 hours acid photo etching. 50 hours acid photo etching, the IO2 and RPVC not counted as optimum value of the IO2 and RPVC because of leach out from the glass plate. Percent remaining of RR4 dye degradation show a decrease when the time for the acid photo etching process was increased on immobilized IO2 and RPVC. It shows that acid photo etching can make the surface of the IO2 and RPVC rougher and produce more pores that can absorb dye. Here my result for a few characterization. First, the FTIR characterization. In this spectrum, it shows that at the wave number of 664 of absorption band, the peak has been recognized as a TIO stretching band, which is the characteristic of peak of TIO2. Based on this FTIR spectrum, for ring opening and formation of ENR OH at the absorption band of 1090 and 1191 indicate a CO, 
which is ring opening of ENR and CO tertiary alcohol. So at the band of at the absorption band of 8O4 is indicate the CCL functional group. And at the band of 2175, it's indicate the C double bond C conjugated. And at the band of 3282, indicate the OH functional group. Based on the FTIR spectrum and the functional group found, only opening ring of COC occur in ENR, and there is no cross-linking between ENR and PVC. So here we assume that opening ring of hypoxidite react with H plus and Cl minus from the acid will produce the COH and CCl. Next is fissile. There are cluster of nanoparticles that can be seen using fissile with high magnification. They are also decreased due to the high amount of natural rubber. When the presence of ENR may cover the surface active site of the IO2 according to Sri 2019. Immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC under photo each form a sponge like layer, while immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC under 40 hour acid photo each form a melted light layer. When HCl is applied to immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC, opening ring of ENR occur and connected to the hydrogen ion from the acid forming hydroxyl group OH minus. So, immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC under 50 hour acid photo each, leach out due to the no cross linking and longer irradiation, with an evidence from previous research stated that cross linking make it more durable. So, immobilize the IO2 ENR PVC under 50 hour acid photo each, explained less durable in the samples, and the samples are ruptured. Next characterization is 3D profiler where the roughness of the surface immobilized the IO2 ENR PVC can be obtained. Here it shows that the 2D and 3D figure for photo is TiO2 ENR PVC and optimum TiO2 ENR PVC under 40 hours acid photo each. The average roughness of 40 hours acid photo each is 6473.59, which is the higher than the photo each 3877.32. According to Bashiril Altamirano, 2019, the largest surface structure of TiO2 ENR PVC. With high roughness and high porous surface will allow more photocatalytic activity. According to JCPDS database for XRD, the figure shows a clear reflection at two value at 26.054 degree and 48.766 degree, which are strong diffraction for the IO2 anatase. Due to absence of ENR, the strong diffraction and intensity of the IO2 increase from unmodified to 40 hours acid photo each at value of 26.054 degree, resulting in the formation of the IO2 crystal and proof by crystallinity index. So the crystallinity index for unmodified is 37.68 followed by photo each, 42.39 and 40 hours acid photo each is 42.91. The increasing of crystallinity index depends on the acid use. So here is the formation of OH1. As we know that the cross-link process between ENR and PVC does not occur in the presence of acid. An assumption has been made when the ENR structure has reacted to the ion from the acid, which are H plus and Cl minus. According to Rahman 2021, OH1 can donate electron to the photocatalyst the IO2. This makes the enriched electron pairs to the conduction band of the IO2. The higher electron of conduction band, the more tendency to form superoxide ion for better photocatalyte activity. The conclusion for this research study, the presence of HCl and UV light during the acid photo etching technique of immobilized the IO2 ENR PVC obtained the effect of ring opening of ENR resulted in a dye with high photocatalyte degradation efficiency. Other than that, the photocatalytic degradation of RR4 dye after 40 hours acid photo etching effect for optimum has increased by 95.83% compared to unmodified TiO2 ENR PVC. Lastly, both unmodified and modified TiO2 ENR PVC has been characterized by FTIR, 3D profiler, PSAM, and XRD. As a recommendation for the future study, Immobilized IO2 ENR PVC should be modified by prolonging the period of photo etching technique for the cross linking process between ENR and PVC. So, this is a few references that I use for this research study. This is my achievement. I collaborated with postgrad students for this paper. 
that's all from me for this research study. Thank you so much and have a nice day everyone.